It's a once in a generation kind of opportunity for a whole new industry to come to New Jersey and take root. The message at the New Jersey Offshore Wind Supply Chain Networking event was New Jersey is open for business. You want to come, you want to make some money, you want to do a societal benefit, come to New Jersey because we want you here to help us achieve our goal. The Garden State recently issued the country's biggest single state solicitation of offshore wind to date for 1,100 megawatts of offshore wind. And uh, that solicitation should be completed by December 28th, and then those solicitations will be evaluated. And we'll see who, who qualifies and, and where we're going to go and what developer and things of that sort. Chief Executive Officer for the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, Tim Sullivan says the international market is taking notice. We want to be the capital of the American wind industry. New Jersey Board of Public Utilities president says they've been moving full force ever since Governor Murphy announced his goal of 3,500 megawatts of offshore wind by 2030. The administration has asked NJBPU to open two more 1,200 megawatt solicitations of offshore wind capacity in 2020 and 2022. It is a goal that is aggressive, progressive, and achievable. In October, Governor Murphy led his first trade mission to Israel and Germany. In Germany, he spoke with industry leaders about playing a role in New Jersey's offshore wind goals. The governor announced that uh, one of the uh, offshore, German offshore wind players is opening an office in Jersey City when we were in Germany, and we think that's just the beginning of, of lots of economic activity. We've had representatives here from the United Kingdom. We've had representatives here from Germany. We've had representatives here from Denmark. Uh, Denmark, as an example, gets 50% of its energy from wind. But the NJBPU president says they also want to work in conjunction with neighboring states. Particularly New York in uh, developing this because I think it has to be a regional approach and one that uh, we're willing to share the glory as long as we can mitigate climate change. Sullivan says there are plans in the governor's economic development plan to form a one-stop shop for the wind industry. Bringing together academia, labor, and uh, the, the private sector and the public sector to bring together in something called what we're calling the Wind Institute. The NJBPU president says they are also working towards the bigger goal of 100 percent renewable clean energy by 2050. It's just not spending money on windmills or solar installations. It's about creating industries that are going to supply jobs, that are going to enhance the economic activity of the state of New Jersey. The NJBPU president says the state just hit 100,000 solar installations in New Jersey. In Princeton, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.